Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. This is uh, my video on my Ubiquity starter setup. Um, everything you need to get started with Ubiquity if you want a small, cheap network. Um, I picked the Unify Express as the gateway and the router. Um, has Unify controller software built into it running. Um, I, this right here is a 2.5 gig flex mini but I won't recommend it for the Unify Express because the Unify Express is, is uh, one gig. So I'd probably recommend just the Flex Mini um, for the switch. And then for the access point, I just had a cheap um, AC long range access point sitting around and I have it powered with a PoE injector because the Flex Minis uh, do not provide power. And also too, this Unify Express has a built-in Wi-Fi 6 access point. So if your house isn't very big, you can just use this and a switch. And that way the switch gives you more than just one Ethernet port. Because on the back here, uh, the Unify Express only has one Ethernet port for LAN. So if you want to hardwire more than just one device, you're going to need a switch. But... Uh, here in a minute, I'll show you the price of everything and how easy it is to configure all this out of the box. All right, I got everything plugged up to my laptop here. Um, you can also do it through the app. Um, you just download Ubiquity's app and it'll connect to it via Bluetooth, I believe. Um, but I'm going to do everything hardwired. I got everything connected together and I got it hooked up here to my laptop. <clears throat> so the default IP address of most routers, including Unify, is 192.168.1.1. And when you type that into your web browser, you can um, you have to do it hardwired if you want to do it this way. Um, you'll get this message, potential security risk ahead, hit advance, and then go down to accept security risks and continue. And then it gives you this cool graphic here, and it, directs, it prompts you to set up the Unify Express. So we'll just name this Unify Express YouTube and then hit next. You can name it whatever you want. And then it asks you to create a UI account. You don't have to unless I proceed without a UI account. And agree, we're gonna continue anyways. Um, password, we'll do a super, super secret password. And then the Wi-Fi name, we'll just leave it as Unify Express YouTube. And then password, and just name it password, or I don't suggest you doing that, but we're just gonna do that here. And then when you hit finish, uh, it's gonna configure the console. And this will probably take a good five minutes. Uh, the only bad thing about these Unify Expresses is uh, they're a little bit sluggish on the software, but I'll show you here once it gets done. All right, <clears throat> it's got done. Uh, it got done doing its update or configuring, and it says setup complete. So I'll we'll click go to dashboard, and it already found my access point, my ACLR. So we'll do that later here. So if you click on network, this is how you can go in and configure all your settings. You can adopt the switch and the access point so that you can control them. And when you adopt the access point, it'll automatically transfer over that Wi-Fi network that you made when you set it up. So you can see the internet, there's AT&T is my internet provider. Uptime here is 100%. Now to adopt your switch and your access point, just go over here to Unify Devices and it should find them here. Yep, uh, this is a switch, click to adopt. And then this is the ACLR, click to adopt. And once it gets done adopting them, you can configure them. Um, like I said, the access point will automatically have your Wi-Fi info and it'll uh, turn on, it automatically has meshing turned on. So as you move from the Unifies Express access point to the ACLR's um, range, it'll automatically switch your device. And there's some other side settings here you can look at on the dashboard. You can move these around, I believe. And then you can also go to insights and it'll show you some traffic insights once you have more traffic on here. Right now there's nothing because it's a brand new setup. Uh, and then you have settings. And the setting that is that I love the most is the dark setting, light and dark. I always keep it in dark 
up here in the top right because uh, light I absolutely hate that <laughs> but you can uh, click on Wi-Fi there's your Wi-Fi network you can create a new one just do a 2.4 only or a 5 gigahertz only uh, this one has both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so it'll automatically switch you to whatever one's best uh, networks you can make your own network by default it's 192.168.1. whatever um, but you can change that subnet to 10.0.0 to whatever if you want to get fancy with it, you don't have to. You can set up VLANs on here. And then the internet is your primary WAN coming in here. It only has one WAN port, so you can't really do a whole lot with that. Um, you, this is where you can set up static if you have a static IP address from your internet service provider, your ISP. Uh, you have VPN in here. You have Instant Join, their teleport VPN that they have. Um, you also have WireGuard and OpenVPN the sign can run, so that's pretty cool. You can have your own WireGuard server. Uh, security, I believe it has IPS and um, IDS, which is the intrusion prevention uh, stuff. And you can correct me in the comments if I butchered that. Um, but you can set that up here. It does slow down the throughput though when you turn it on. It's a you know just a gigabit router. And system, this is where you can go to updates, backups. You can download the backup of this so it has all your configs. And this whole setup here, uh, the price of everything, Unify Express is $149. Um, this is another switch you could get, the Ultra 60 Watt if you wanted PoE, if you didn't want to buy the PoE adapter. Um, but the PoE, PoE adapter is only $8 here. Um, if you buy the switch, it's going to be way more. And this is the cheapest total right here. Uh, everything I just showed you, this is how much it adds up to is 375. Because if you look on Unify's website, the Unify Express, 149. Uh, the Flex Mini, that's the cheapest switch, um, just one gig switch. Uh, the AC long range access point. But what I did was I added um, this right here, the Unify U7 Pro access point. That's if you want Wi-Fi 7. So this $375 is if you want Wi-Fi 7. If you don't care about that, you know, the AC long range. If you have a bigger house, you can get the second access point. But you could save some money and just use the access point built into the Unify Express if you wanted to save some money and make it um, about $100 cheaper. Then it would only be $275. And then the PoE adapter for the access point is only eight dollars so that's a cheaper option than buying the ultra 60 watt right here we'll go back to the dashboard here and here in a minute i'll tell you my closing thoughts so all in all this is i believe a good little starter uh setup here if you want to get into ubiquity um it's almost as much as like a netgear nighthawk uh, and you can set it up the same way, just use their app, and it's almost as simple as setting it up as a Netgear Nighthawk. Uh, but once you get into the Ubiquity ecosystem, you're going to end up spending uh, more uh, to upgrade all this in the future. Um, but I believe this is a good start to uh, get your home network set up, and it's really reliable. I use it here at my house, and I, I love Ubiquity stuff. If you're looking to start a home network, uh, you know, brand new house or whatever, and you don't want to use the ISPs, you know, crappy router modem combo, I would definitely invest in something like this. Um, but I hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.